Hey guys, this is the Creative Tech Lead from Unora, where we see the future by inventing it. So today we're going to talk about the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. And hold up, isn't the Mark III out? Yes, the Mark III is out. But that's not interesting because there's no problems with the Mark III. There's problems with the Mark II. So um, the owners of Canon G7X Mark II, they are not able to use it as a webcam effectively until they see a YouTube video that helps to get rid of all the problems and maximize the usage of the Canon G7X Mark II as a webcam. So there's a lady on uh, YouTube that actually explains this very well. I'm going to put the link to a video uh, for those of you who have this camera or know anybody with this camera. But I'm going to uh, share with you guys the thing that she couldn't solve and this is what she has to say. But since G7X Mark II is not intended to use for live streaming uh, camera it will sleep in three minutes once you're already live in three minutes it will sleep so i have no solutions or solution for that so she doesn't have any solution for this expensive uh sleepy camera that goes idle every three minutes so if that's the case then each time I, uh, it's gonna be three minutes I have to press a button on, on my camera and because I have a very cheap IKEA stand uh, holding the camera then my, my video will start to shake. So let me change to my overhead camera. So this is my overhead camera. If I were to touch it, see it will shake, right? But I tried solving this and I'm gonna share with you guys uh, my solution. So the first thing I did was to to use a battery pack and attach it to a motor and this motor spins ever so slowly don't know whether you can see it let me see whether that can focus ah okay so it moves ever so slowly and I att attached it above the button and mounted it with a 3d printed bracket uh, in order to press the button and it's like a really ridiculous but necessary invention for me to get the um, camera to not go into an idle state or to sleep so let's get rid of that and then I realized that um, when I'm out of uh, juice on this battery pack it it was still working well and I, I found out that if you half press the button um, it doesn't go into idle mode so I 3d printed a bracket can you see that let me try get you in focus. Yeah, so I 3D printed a bracket and mounted it with screws, and I showed it to some of my friends, and they were like, you know, some of them were like, "Wow, you're a genius! You should sell this." I'm like, "No, I'm not gonna sell this. I'm gonna tell this to the world and let them uh, just print it or or get somebody to print it for them." And I'm like, "No, not everyone has like so many 3D printers. I have six in my room right now, uh, but not everyone has 3D printers." So, what's the solution? What's the solution? Is this. This is. This is the solution. Imagine that. So, I'm going to go to my front camera. So, you can see my camera right here. And all you need to do is to attach this, uh, what do you call that? Clothes pack. And clamp onto this uh, button over here. And it will half press the button for you. And your camera never goes into idle state. And this is like... I love this solution. It looks bad on camera. So I, I hide it from you guys. But... Let me hide it. Yeah. But... You know... Just that. And... You know, I, I didn't really look at... Uh, into like... Uh, other people who actually solved this. But... I hope this solution or the process or the thought process of arriving to this solution uh, benefits uh, the viewers out there. So that's the video that we have for you today. Um, see you guys again whenever. Oh yeah, please like, subscribe and hit the notif notification bell icon. That's a very long thing to say. But yeah, goodbye. See you guys whenever.